Now let us discuss the use of 360 degree video by media and other purposes. Many fields of media have used VR and 360 degree videos for reaching their viewers. We will discuss their use of 360 degree videos, video platforms in these fields with examples. In journalism, considering the potential of 360 degree videos, many organizations are engaging with this media in a bit to engage its readers with 360 degree video stories. The New York Times distributed 1 million Google Cardboard headsets on November 7, 2015. The New York Times has also developed an application which is called New York Times Virtual Reality application. This is to host its virtual reality and 360 degree videos. To get a first hand knowledge of how journalists work with this medium, let us have a look at the fight for Fallujah. This is one of the several 360 degree journalistic stories that the New York Times has produced. Published in August 2016, the 11 minute story gives the viewers the first hand experience of the confrontation between Iraqi forces and Islamic State of Iraq and Syria in the historic Iraqi city of Fallujah. Unlike conventional videos, stories like the fight for Fallujah where cameras capture every angle allow the viewer to choose where to look while a story unfolds. In other words, the viewer has the freedom to explore footage. It is this immersive characteristic that makes 360 degree journalism more engaging form of storytelling. Other news organizations like The Guardian have also formed platforms to showcase their stories. This form of storytelling has given rise what is referred as virtual reality journalism. In India, news organizations like The Quint have engaged with this form of journalism. In advocacy and social work, since the 360 degree platform is engaging, humanitarian and developmental organizations have tried to use this platform to reach out to people to build a stronger connection towards a cause or issues. One such initiative was taken by the United Nations by producing Clouds Over Sidra in 2015. The 360 degree short film about the Syrian refugee crisis shows the life of a 12 year old Syrian girl in the Jatari camp in Jordan. The film was first screened was held at the World Economic Forum in Davos where the participants experienced living in a refugee camp via their headsets. Some practitioners like Chris Milk uh, the producer of Clouds Over Sidra have referred this form of storytelling as the empathy machine. However, such claims have been con contested by scholars like Catherine Hamilton by saying that such claims satisfy Western voyeurism without consequence. Now we will discuss the prospects of 360 degree videos in advertising and marketing. In an effort to reach out to the potential customers, many brands have engaged with technologically advanced media, including 360 degree videos to create appealing advertisements. Since such advertisements let the viewers experience the products closely, they have an immersive experience with the brand. Companies like Nissan, Ford, Red Bull have used 360 degree videos to market their products. Let us see how 360 degree videos are used in tourism. 360 degree photography and videos have been used in the field of tourism. Through such media, one can submerse in an engaging experience to see that, to see what the places are really look like. Ministry of Tourism, Government of India in collaboration with Google launched 360 degree videos for the global incredible India tourism campaign. In another example, Lonely Planets Exploring Canada in 360 degrees is one such initiative. Google Maps also let the users 
to make 360 degree videos to showcase the place that they visit. Now, in another aspect is gaming. Gaming is one of the advanced media platforms where graphics and animation is used. Technologically, always advanced uses 360 degrees and virtual reality for providing immersive experience to the audience. 360 degrees are also used in institutional branding. Various government and private institutions of different nature has been increasingly using the 360 degree videos to showcase their facilities, infrastructure and give a feel of the place to the public. The other area where 360 degree videos are gainfully used is museums. Although virtual museums have existed for some time now, but the virtual reality and 360 degree videos have taken the experience of exploring a museum to a different level, almost transporting the viewer to the museum. For example, Google's Art and Culture's Virtual Natural History Museum. This is the project done in collaboration with natural history museums across the world which showcases several virtual museum tours and exhibits. Many independent journalists, filmmakers and organizations have used 360 degree videos for storytelling. In India, for example, LCVR, a virtual reality company, has produced many stories in 360 degree format. Their work has been screened in film festivals across the world. Thank you for your attention. Hope you have enjoyed this lecture.